Hey, this is Tim. I just want to make a quick little video on how to make Outlast 2 look like this. Very bright and not very nice, but it can be pretty useful to to see things you might not see otherwise and maybe explore a bit. So what you'll need to do this is, well, first of all, obviously the game and second of all, cheat engine. I believe any version would do. Um, then you need to go into the config files before you start the game and add a few keybinds. I'll show you that right now. Oh, so first of all, the game the game file don't take excuse me, the the input files. So you'll find it in games slash steam slash steam apps slash common slash outlast two slash ol game slash config and you have to go into default input. Once you're into default input, you have to scroll down for bits and when you see keyboard and mouse, well, you don't have to put it right there, but I prefer to put it there just for organization. And you add these two lines, binding equal name equal the command you want. So I binded them to F1 and F2 and then the command. So show fog and show post process. Once this is done, you just have to restart the game if you had it open or if you didn't have it open, just open the game once you've uh, saved the file. So let's close this. And then once you're in the game, open cheat engine. So cheat engine, search for the process. So you'll need to find um, Atlas 2, obviously. And first of all, let me change this back to its normal look. Let me delete both these values so I don't cheat. And then what you have to look for is one byte, one byte value of 255. First scan. Let's search for a while. And once it's done searching, you'll have millions of values. And obviously that's way too many to know what you're looking for. So get back into the game, use one of the bindings you want. So I'll use fog first, fog, F1 for me. Go back to cheat engine. And with fog disabled, you will have to search for the value 239. Next scan. Uh, all the values will be in the, in the description. That will make it way easier for you. So once, once you've got this, as you can see, the, we have way less values than we have before. Just get back into the game, use post process, so F2 for me, and now search for the value 207. This is the value for fog and post process deactivated. Next scan, and as you can see, we only have two left. This one keeps on moving and changing, so this is not the one we're looking for, this is the one we're looking for. So add it down there. And then if I change it back to 255, as you can see, the game gets back to normal. And if I change it back to zero, it gets really bright and ugly. I wouldn't say ugly, it's, it got its charm. But yeah, it can be pretty useful to just see things you might not see otherwise. Like, the guys aren't here there yet. Oh, this one. That guy over there. If I put the, ge the game back to its normal look, you probably won't even be able to see it. So 255. Yeah, you can barely see it. Just because the light. This is the only reason you can see him, but if you don't have the light, uh, you cannot see him. And as you can see, if you look at the um, Titan Chain value, but I'm in the game and I press F1, it should drop down to 239. If I press F2 now, and you can't see the guy over there anymore. If I press F2 now for post process, it should drop down to 207. But if I reactivate the fog, it should jump up to 223. 
and there we go 223 once again all the values will be in the, the description I won't show everything because there's way too many possibilities so yeah here you know how to do it and have fun with it see ya